All right, everybody. Right now we are looking at my Australian tank. Uh, these are my gudgeons, two of them. The third one is in the back of the tank. I shot some video earlier today about these fish, and I had mentioned how it looked like two of them had paired off, and then one was a third oddball. I also noticed earlier today that one of them looked like it was getting some damage to its dorsal fin. I wasn't really sure what was going on. I don't really have any experience with these fish. Uh, then I started noticing behavior like this that began uh, to look like aggression. So I also noticed uh, back here in the upper corner one of the fish behaving oddly. And when I looked very closely, I noticed she is spawning. Look at all those eggs all over everything. She is up there just working away at them. So... I don't know what to do with these eggs yet. I'm going to have to go upstairs and do a little bit of research and reading and figure out how to deal with this. Um, these are fish that I've wanted for a long time. I saw them uh, you know, just in videos and stuff a while ago, uh, well over a year ago, and I always wanted some from the moment I saw them. And I happened upon these in the store the other day. I picked them up. I knew enough about their care that I knew I could keep them. But I had no idea I would actually be able to breed them. I was really surprised when it looked like I had two that had paired off. Um, so now that I've actually got eggs being laid, I don't really know what to do about these. I'm really going to have to go uh, upstairs and do some uh, more research and find out. Now there's mom. And she looks pretty rough. Her back is looking very blotchy. Her dorsal fin, she's the one that looked the, the worst. The, the one with the rough dorsal fin earlier and then she's back there laying eggs so I'm not sure if that's part of the process I know some fish look pretty rough after they laid eggs it's biologically uh, takes a toll on them um, I also know sometimes when fish are in distress they will lay eggs as sort of a last ditch effort to breed before they perish uh, so perhaps my water is not quite right and this is um, breeding behavior out of desperation I really don't know I don't know enough about these fish to know uh, what exactly is going on here um, but I am really excited about it so I'm going to get going I'm going to go upstairs and see if I can do a little bit of research in the meantime I just want to try to get some of these eggs on uh, video so thanks for watching please subscribe if you uh, don't want to miss any of the updates on this and find out what's going on uh, I'm excited myself to find out how this is going to pan out hopefully I'll still have some eggs down here in the morning and uh, maybe we will have some baby gudgeons here in the very near future so this is my Australian tank, and right now those are the only fish in there, so we might be able to just let the babies grow up right in this tank right in front of us, so we'll see. Thanks again for watching. If you're not already subscribed, please do so, and I'll see you real soon on the next one.